The following is an excerpt from an Ask Slim premium level video. Follow us on YouTube, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and do subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Share it, there's tons that come out every single week. Follow us on Twitter at Ask Slim, and write to Matt at AskSlim.com for trial memberships. We have trial memberships available for all of our levels, one, two, three, and four, and go to the AskSlim.com website for details. Thank you, and enjoy the video. If you try to figure out what's going on right now in the currency world, uh, it's as confusing as the central banks are making it. Um, and uh, the, the, uh, when, when you look at the gold market, you will see that if you include gold as a currency, and uh, there may be some day, not all that far out there, where gold is a currency that people use, um, it's not that far-fetched when you see what's going on in this world, um, then you will understand what we're going to look at here. So I want to take a slightly different look at the gold market than we normally do. So we're going to look right now at the um, metals. We're going to start out by looking at this uh, very unique look uh, at the gold market because, of course, we have our cycle analysis, and I'm going to drop it down into uh, some momentum charts and two-hour charts so you can, for very short-term traders, you can get a good sense for understanding condition. So here is a grid with all the metals on it. I know this is a total mess, but if you expand it, as you see right here, maximize sell, and you just open it up, all of a sudden it starts to make sense, and then you can go through. I'm only going to show you the gold market in this, and then we're going to go back to uh, the regular charts because I want to just look at the intradays. So we have, we long ago put in that target zone uh, where we saw that extension zone. We expected gold to move up into this area, 1762 up here to about 1850. We still think 1850 is coming. There just may be an interruption to that, however, uh, and that is that we would see the markets, the, the metals markets in a corrective period. Now, all along, we've been looking at this nested period right over here. When you get to a nested period, it's where you have the silver market coming down and making a low. You have the gold market coming down here and making a low. You can see that happened right over here where they were combined, and you got the corrective period right here. But it was very shallow in this yellow zone and then moved up and gave you the massive rally in here. Once momentum turned up right over here, it was off to the races. Uh, and uh, we're going to get into another period uh, before before you know it of that. So here, this is the period into this upper support zone. This is about 1708. This is right over here is about 1660. So this is the area where I think we're going to correct down to in this period. And I think it's a screaming buy. I think it's 1860 or 1850 right there. And then I'm going to have another projection up here uh, to record highs. Uh, and uh, this is all you're looking at here is the inverse of, of uh, the debased currencies in the world. Uh, it's, it's just very clear the wreckage that's going on in the buying power of currencies. And that's the Fed doing it. If you take a good picture in your brain of what you see here in this rising gold, just see the central banks reaching into the pockets of your children and grandchildren. That's what this is, uh, because the buying power uh, and the money that uh, you're going to give to your kids or pass on to them or grandkids or the money that they're going to make is going to have far less ability to buy things, and that's a lower standard of living. I know I'm taking this a long way out there, right, uh, talking about stuff like that. But it's a realistic picture that I'm talking about. Uh, we, we put that projection in there a long time ago, and it's all about the, what's going on right now. It happened way before the coronavirus hit, and, uh, you know, all right, stop me. Here is the picture that is bullish when you look at that. Now let's look a little further right in here, and uh, we're just going to look at the daily chart. Now this daily chart does not have momentum on it because I have it on the next chart. This also has uh, our... Um, market condition, or, I'm sorry, option bias indicator in here. And you can see these three orange dots that gave you the buy warning to the low right over there. And now we're just getting a reading of slightly overbought right over here. As it gets into that Fib extension target zone, you can see the evening star forming right over here as gold pulls back. So we said we had a corrective period coming out into May. So if I highlight this right over here, which it's not doing with the arrow, 
but let me just do it like this. If I highlight that, it takes you to May 14th. In other words, this cycle we're in right over here has about another maybe five, seven trading sessions in it. Comes down to maybe this area of about 1708. Rallies again, maybe test the high, double top, gets a little higher, a little lower, and then comes down right over here to that May 14th time frame and then off to the races. So you see we're giving it kind of a range sideways consolidation in what is this period right over here you see on the weekly. So um, there's your weekly view added out into the May corrective period. Here is your daily view added out into that May corrective period. Here's the support right over here from the weekly chart. Now let's take a look at momentum in here. And you can see in these momentum indicators, I'm going to just get a closer look right over here. First of all, we're getting a little top warning here on market forecast right over there. That made the top here. You can see this is the slim ribbon momentum pointing on the upside. This goes uh, all the way um, back over here uh, into um, December. Uh, where this turned positive and remained positive through this whole period here. You get the confirmation of strength right over here, the buy or long side confirmation for momentum here with the projection oscillator. Everything in here was saying keep buying it. You can see that even through the corrections. You got into a period in here of a deeper correction. That's when you stand aside, just kind of let it happen. And then it turned positive again right over here and remains positive. Now, this the slim ribbon uh, is down here, the middle of it, right over here at about 17, uh, about uh, 1693. That lines up with what we said uh, into that support zone. So kind of think that somewhere in that area is where it's gonna fall to uh, over this period. Now, it's like uh, looking at these are like a domino effect because you, you need to have short-term strength go away before you can get intermediate strength go away. Well, right now you can see on this short-term indicator, again, the slim ribbon with a daily high low and the projection oscillator throws off these signals. And right now you're still in this upward bias. So in other words, the long side trades are the favorite trades right over here. And until this gives you a negative signal, it remains that way. You have the uh, market condition indicator super strong right over here. And you're getting a buy pending right over here because you're at underneath this area if it turns up it will then turn up again over here. So everything here we're looking on this short term is extremely positive still. So it's gonna be hard to get any kind of a real correction until this first domino falls, which is the two hour chart, the intraday. So uh, all of our uh, members get these uh, uh, for uh, 24 different stocks, uh, uh, stock indexes and futures. Uh, so uh, this is the short term. So again, we have the two hour right over here still positive. You have the daily momentum in here still positive, giving a little bit of a warning that you can see right over there. You have this topped in that projection area on the daily right over there. And you have this potential correction into May showing you there and likely that that will bring you big rally after that. That is a much different look as I wanted to give you uh, looking at the gold market. So uh, I think that was uh, probably helpful and you'll learn a lot. You can adapt a lot of that onto your own charts um, even if you don't uh, get ours. So uh, level three and four members do get uh, those charts either in static charts or live charts uh, for Thinkorswim.